Let me show you five different Canva tools that you probably didn't know were powered by the AI. And I'm also going to show you how to use them. The first tool I want to show you, it's called Magic Eraser. This tool is available for Canva Pro users and it is so easy to use. With this tool, you can delete sensitive information from photos. So for example, here I have the address on the photo on this little banner, but I used the tool to remove it, you know, like in case that you want to show a picture near your house and you don't want everybody to know where you live well you can remove the address with this tool let me give you another example i have this beautiful picture in this marvelous landscape but there is a security line here it is yellow and it's quite obvious well you can use exactly the same tool the magic eraser to remove it from your photo in just a couple of clicks. Before the AI, this action of removing the line, this yellow line from the picture, could take hours. So I'm really happy to show you how this works. Here I am in the editor. I'm gonna show you how to use this tool. Here we see the original picture with this yellow line that I'm going to remove. So all you have to do is to select the picture. You will see a menu appearing on top, this floating menu. You're gonna click on Edit. And from here, under Magic Studio, you will see the tool called Magic Eraser. You're going to click here. From here, you have two different options or two different tools. You have the brush, which is the one that I'm going to use in this case. And then you also have the click. This tool right here will work only if you are going to remove people or objects from your photo. So in this case, I can select the person or particular elements in the picture. So I can and only select myself or the backpack but when I hover on top of the line it is not recognizing this element as something that I can remove so I'm going to go for the brush option when you select the brush you will see that you can also play with the brush size and because I want to be very precise with the section that I want to remove I'm going to reduce the size and then all you have to do is to simply brush over the area that you want to delete you can take your time in this case I do recommend that you go a little bit smaller with the brush size i'm just using it like this to go faster and then all you have to do is to click on this button that says erase wait a couple of seconds and then you will see that canva will do all the hard work for you and that's it as you can see the picture is ready to be used remember that the magic eraser is available only to canva pro users so if you have a canva free account and would love to try canva pro there is a free trial for 30 days in the description. Now let's move on to tool number two. This tool is called Magic Edit and it is free to use. Let me show you a couple of examples because this tool is quite amazing. You can see the original picture here on the left. As you can see, there is no food left on the tray, just a couple of french fries. But let's say that you want to add something to the tray so it doesn't look so messy. So I used the Magic Edit to add a burger to the tray. I would like to know what do you guys think think about this outcome does it look realistic or not let me know in the comments now let me show you another example here on the left we have the original photo as you can see the building in the middle looks different to the building on the right hand side i used the magic edit to change the color on this building and it was so easy to do you just need to brush the area and ask the ai what you want to change in the picture I also changed something in the picture if you haven't paid attention and it is the tourist that we see on the left side of the picture. I changed him for a bush and I used the same tool. So you can add or you can change elements in the picture with the same tool. Here I am in the editor and to access this tool all you have to do is to click on the image you want to edit and then on this floating menu you're gonna click edit. Under the Magic Studio 
area, you're going to find the tool called Magic Edit. So you're going to click here and then all you have to do again is to brush the area that you want to edit. So let's say that I want to add a burger again on this tray. I imagine that my burger can look this big and then you are going to describe what you are going to add or change in this picture. So in this case, I want to add a hamburger and then simply click generate. Canva will create four different edits for you. So in this case, we have this burger right here. The bun on top looks a little bit weird, but I think it looks kind of okay. The first option to me looks better, looks the most realistic, though I believe the burger looks huge. This option here is not what I was looking for. And then the last one is just a piece of meat. So you can choose one of these four options and then click done or you can continue generating more options by clicking on this button. I think I'm going for this huge burger. This one looks realistic if you look at it really quick. So I'm just going to click on done and my photo is ready. Tool number three is going to save you a lot of time if you are somebody like me which uses different languages for work. I create content in English but I also create content in Spanish. So sometimes this tool comes really really handy when I need to quickly translate the signs from English to Spanish or vice versa. With this tool you can translate your designs into 134 different languages and Actually, this tool is a little bit hidden, so let me show you how to find it. Here I am in Canva. I have this beautiful design. This is actually a template that you can find on my Canva profile. So let's say that you have this design in English, but you want to use it in Spanish. You're going to go to the button that says Resize. As you can see, this button has a crown, and that means that this tool is available only to Canva Pro users. You're going to click here and then the tool is a little bit hidden here because you need to scroll down to find it. The tool is right here. It says translate, translate your design into another language. Click here and then all you have to do is to select the language that you want to use. You can either scroll down or simply use this search bar. So let's say in this case Spanish and then select the language. I just want to scroll down a little bit so you can see all of the languages available 134 these are a lot of languages okay let's continue let's go and find Spanish. From here you can select the tone of voice. This is optional so you can go for the original tone of voice or you can change it for professional, conversational, friendly, informative or inspirational. And then if you have more than one page on your design you can also select which pages you want to translate or if you want to translate them all. You then have the option to translate the design so translate existing design without creating a copy that means that this text will change to this other language or if you want to keep this design and then create a copy of the design with the new language you're going to leave it as it is and then click translate and in here you can see that you can use this tool 500 times every month this one refreshes every month so let me click here translate and I have the copy of this design ready so the original in English the copy in Spanish. Let me open it. And this translation looks good or almost perfect. You can adjust the things that may not sound natural in your language, but you know, like you can change everything in Canva. So this is not a problem. Tool number four is the background remover. This is again a Canva Pro tool and I know that many of you already know this tool but I wonder how many of you didn't know the recent update on this tool. And for those of you who don't know the background remover tool, this tool will allow you to remove the background from your photos. So as you can see on the left there is the original picture and on the right hand we have the final outcome. I used the background remover to to remove the background with just one click. 
So now you can use this photo on your social media designs, your catalog, your website, or any other kind of use that you need to give to this photo. I have here a simple example. You can use this photo also on animations if you want, if you want to be more playful with your products. And the recent update is here. If you didn't know, you can also use this tool to remove the background on your videos. So I have here the original video. You can see that there is a big building behind the girl but with the background remover you can remove it with just one click again and you can use it like this for any kind of animation or video editing that you have in mind or you can add cool backgrounds like the one that we have here at the bottom of the screen and again these ai tools are so so simple to use you're going to select the photo or the video that you want to remove the background to and then you will see the background remover tool in here you're going to click one time and it's going to do its magic as you can see it took i guess less than one second to remove the background on this video and now i can change the colors to the background i can add textures or i can add other videos to this design and tool number five is called magic resize this is again a canva pro tool and we already clicked on that button earlier on this video this button or this tool is going to save you again a lot of time because you can repurpose your content let's say that you have created a presentation document and you want to repurpose this content on your social media or let's say that you created a square instagram post but you want to repurpose in this content Content on Pinterest as a pin you can do it with this tool you're going to open your design in Canva the one that you want to repurpose and then click on this button that you see on top of the screen here is the magic resize or the resize tool you're going to click here and then from here you can browse by category or you can search for the document type that you want to resize to or you can also create a custom size design in this case let's say that i want to resize in this presentation slide to a social media document like instagram let's say yeah an instagram post square and then from here you can select the pages that you want to resize so i don't want to resize all of the pages but i just want to resize one I'm going to select the page and then click continue from here you will have a little preview of how your design is going to look in that new ratio and this is how my design would look like if you're happy with your design you're going to click copy and resize and that's it canva has now a copy of this design with a new ratio or the new size i'm going to open the new document you can use the design as it is or you can adjust the position or the size of certain elements and it will be ready to be published in this video i show you only five tools powered by the ai but there are so many other tools like this please let me know if you want me to create another video showing you more of these tools powered by the ai and to continue learning with us remember that you can subscribe we publish two new videos every week and we also have a membership in here you will have special perks and exclusive educational content i think this is it for this tutorial and i hope to see you in the next one. Bye!